Thursday. Uh, today is the beginning of the Easter Triduum, so it begins tonight with what would have been the Mass with the washing of the feet, and it will continue into tomorrow, Good Friday, which marks the Passion of the Christ, Passion of Christ, and then Saturday, uh, while Christ is in the tomb. Um, as we begin uh, these sacred days, uh, let us call mind deeper a sense of prayer and uh, a sense that Christ is with all of us, even though we can't meet in community. Um, so today we're going to be starting, on, uh, uh, we're going to be doing our evening prayer. Uh, we're going to be using the proper uh, antiphons and readings on page 407 and the Psalms and Canticle will come from 830. So let's go ahead and we will jump right into it. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of, of the kings of earth, has made us a royal people to serve his God and Father. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, in your poor and right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the peoples, and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon, from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to the earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the sea coast shall pay him tri tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of all the kings of earth, has made us a royal people to serve God, his God and Father. The Lord will be the champion of the helpless. He will free the poor from the grip of the powerful. For he, for he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him, may their, to him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the, all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May, the, may men flourish in the seas like the grass on earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever be blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will be the champion of the helpless. He will free the poor from the grip of the powerful. The saints won their victory over death through the blood of the Lamb and the truth to which they bore witness. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moments to judge the dead, to the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and small alike. Now have salvation and power come, and the reign of our God in the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accuse them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
The saints won their victory over death through the blood of the Lamb and the truth to which they bore witness. Jesus died outside the gate to sanctify the people by his own blood. Let us go out to him outside the camp, bearing the insult which he bore. For here we have no lasting city. We are seek seeking one which is to come. Through him let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, that is, the fruit of the lips which acknowledge his name. For our sake Christ was obedient, accepting even death. While they were at supper, Jesus took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. While they were at supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples. At the Last Supper, on the night he was betrayed, our Savior entrusted his church to his church the memorial of his death and resurrection to be celebrated forever. Let us adore him and say, Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. And their trials enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. You humbled yourself by being obedient, even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gift, the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at last into their fellowship. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, for your glory and our salvation, you appointed Jesus Christ eternal high priest. May the people he gained for you by his blood come to share in the power of his cross and resurrection by celebrating his memorial in this Eucharist. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Uh, have a wonderful night on Holy Thursday. And be sure to keep an eye out for the live streaming of the Easter liturgies on the website. Uh, have a great night and God bless.